Right, welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest earnings results from Taiwan Semiconductor. A really interesting quarter. The business behind this one stock on the move this is an interesting one on Future of Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. Taiwan Semiconductor Earnings, uh, biggest tech company in Asia. Why do we care about this company? Because they make the chips that make everything we use work. And of course, we look at the stock a lot as well because it's done so well. Q1 earnings, and they were, <clears throat> I'm going to call them meh. Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and, and I guess it was a beat about 1.5% better than Wall Street expected. But let's look at the business, the actual numbers, Taiwan Semiconductor sales uh, up. Uh, the huge numbers, just jaw-dropping numbers, right? Uh, uh, in terms of, uh, they report them in Taiwanese, uh, they report revenues in the U.S. dollar, but the, most of their numbers are in Taiwanese dollars. Regardless, revenues up 16.5%, profits up 5%. But it suggested there's a little bit of a slowdown on a sequential basis. The numbers were down if you look at the revenues. And, and that's concerning, right? We're supposed to be in the heart of AI. There's supposed to be a growth in PCs. We're supposed to see a turnaround in smartphones, uh, automobile sales coming back. And when we look at the kinds of chips that they make, the smallest wafers they make are starting to really dominate this business. Their other business, those are the thicker, uh, thicker than seven nanometer wafers, were only 35% of revenues. So uh, the, the seven millimeters, uh, nanometers were 19%, the five nanometers, 37%, the three nanometers, a super exciting three nanometer, uh, tiny, tiny wafers um, were 9% of sales. When we look a little bit deeper, one of the things we want to focus on with Taiwan Semiconductor is how much money they're going to spend in CapEx, right? We got the ASML numbers uh, just yesterday, and those suggested that Taiwan Semi and others aren't spending on CapEx. And sure enough, when we see the CapEx numbers here from Taiwan Semi, they told us two different things. They said that uh, their spending was less in the quarter, maybe less than they might have expected. But for the year, they're still going to hit their target of about $30 billion. And that means the estimates have got to go up on how much they spend. My estimates say they've got to spend at least eight billion a quarter to catch up to hit that 30 billion number that they would otherwise miss. So we either expect an acceleration of, of CapEx spending, and that's what they told us is going to happen, or there's a change underway. And another change that's underway that seems to be going more slowly than we might have expected, again, is those three nanometer chips. There's always a new, new thing at Taiwan Semi. And what you see if you look at the results over time is you see a new process creep up and start to grow and maybe someday dominate and they still get smaller and smaller. Indeed, they talked about two nanometer pro uh, pro production by the end of this year. But the fa fading three nanometer growth uh, is a little bit of a concern here. You would expect that number just to go up and to the right. It was only 9% of sales in the recent quarter. So how did the stock react when these numbers came out? We'll look at the chart. Stock sold off about 5% on the day, not a huge decline, especially when you look at the fantastic move in the stock over the last year. Now, the real thing driving this slowdown, they explained in the conference call, was of all the industries they're in, right, and high performance computing and smartphones and automobiles and all kinds of other stuff, the end use for semiconductors and automotive just wasn't there for them. They saw a real dive in those sales in smartphones. So automotive, not great, and they talked about that, but smartphones really the big culprit here because it's such a big part of their business and Apple indeed a big customer, although of course they're not allowed to talk about that. But here is Taiwan Semiconductor's uh, CEO and outgoing chairman uh, talking about um, what was, was slow to recover in the smartphone business and why auto is even worse. Yes, uh, smartphone in market demand is seeing gradual recovery. But now, not a steep recovery, of course. PC has been buttoned out, and the recovery is slower. However, uh, AI-related data center demand is a very, very strong. And uh, traditional server demand is uh, slow, lukewarm. IoT and consumer remain sluggish. Automotive inventory continue to correct. All right, so what does this all mean and what's your big drill down earnings takeaway and the bite? One number that tells us a whole lot. We'll have all that right after this. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group, 
Your drill down earnings take away just one minute on Taiwan Semiconductor, the biggest manufacturer of the most important semiconductors in the world. They reported a quarter that was kind of okay, 16.5% year over year increase in revenues, but sequentially the numbers were down and that was kind of a surprise. They say that things are gonna pick up they're just not there yet. The smartphone recovery in particular has been a little slower than they would have wanted. And they said AI spending was great, but here's one number that tells us a whole lot. I promise that every time. 9%, only 9% of their sales were their uh, hottest three nanometer chips, the most exciting thing, or uh, wafers, the most exciting thing that they're making. If it ain't one thing with this company, it's another. There's always something new on the horizon, but a three nanometer rolling out a little more slowly than we would have expected. All right, drill down earnings. We appreciate your time. You're X, you can find me at Corey TV on TikTok, on Instagram at Drill Down Pod, and on robust earnings reports on Futurum Group at YouTube. Drill down earnings, a production of Six Five Media.